According to Governor Olusegun Mimiko, the investigating team of experts sent by the government to the two communities, Ayadi and Oderile, gathered that all casualties died within hours of affliction. Governor Mimiko explained that 17 deaths have been confirmed in the federal communities, pointing out that the deaths were preceded by symptoms of sudden blood vision, headache, and loss of consciousness. The governor who disclosed that further toxicology tests have been ordered said Ondo state government has been working in conjunction with development partner, the World Health Organization, and reports sent to the Center for Disease Control. While condoling with families of the dead, Governor Miko appealed to residents of the state to report any suspicious case of blood vision, incoherence, or related symptoms to the nearest health facilities. These times demand strict adherence to hygienic ways of life. Such little things as regular washing of hands, covering of mouth while sneezing and coughing, and careful handling of causes can go a long way to ensure healthy living. I have directed that the information management team set up for the purpose of gathering facts and responding to questions be available all day and brief the public twice every day until this disease is contained. In the meantime, I request that we all remain vigilant and we have developments around us, even as we call on God Almighty to heal our land and save his people. Meanwhile, some traditional leaders in the affected communities have attributed the cause of the death to nemesis by those who offended the girls of the land. According to the chief priest, Chief Lemo, Malokun Shrine was broken into some days ago by a group of youths who stole some items from the shrine. But I want to tell you the state government has taken a step. That is a medical way, at least to see what caused this uh, sudden end of our people in our kingdom here. And also, the cabins of the town and the, all the uh, uh, high ships, they also take a step. And uh, here you saw people, the women, pouring uh, water uh, to the shrine. That's to, uh, uh, to, to, to confirm that uh, this that has happened should not uh, happen again. We just see they come and broke this Awabalukun house. They took some something there. So, uh, KBC with uh, all those chiefs, they call together. They just patrol, go around. So, about three days ago now, people just go to die, die anyhow. More than 25 or 30 people will not die now. Today now, this very morning, up to three people die in the sickness now. There's nobody that can specific what happened. We don't know what really happened. So we are just, we are just doubting that whether not this or, or that. Women and girls of the communities on the directive of the chief priest have been pouring on water and reciting incantations with a view to appeasing the gods. Okay. Bodies of the victims have been deposited at a relay specialist hospital mortuary. William Siam reporting.